Good morning everyone. In today's video I'm going to explain the double point attractor and I'm going to build from the previous example that uh yeah, the actually the previous two examples that I show in a couple of days ago and in this example in this uh, video I will show you the uh, ability to create two points instead of one and that's the first one as you can see and that's the second one probably in, in Revit it might be yes, uh, for some of us uh, easier to be shown like see that's the the, the, uh, the gradient around this specific point and that's the second point and how Dynamo can react based on the available grid of information how the circle will go smaller as we close to those two points and uh, in this case Dynamo needs uh, actually to compare the results between you know the two available information and two available points and analyze their distances and then decide which you know which distance to follow and make those circles smaller as we go uh, toward those two points so how we do that and, uh, and I'll give the whole detail about it in a couple of seconds I'll just close this file and uh, go back and open so I'm gonna use the single point attractor the theoretical part that I have here I'm, I'm using this one that the same one that I used in the previous video I'm gonna drag that and place it in dynamo and then I'm gonna save as this one I'm gonna hit double point attractor So how are we gonna change that? And that's we that's again based on the previous structure that we have. It's uh, we have a grid. I'm not gonna change this, and that's made of a code block and range, and then a point by coordinate, and then a flatten. That will not change in this video, which is again uh, regarding the theoretical part of the two point attractor. Uh, this dude here is a single point, which is the one that we have the only one actually that we have in this video so that's what we uh, have done in a previous couple of videos so what, what, what we need is to copy this guy again the whole group okay and that's the second point we have and let's see if we have successfully created two points uh, beautiful uh, and so I'm gonna push this a little bit you know further from the uh, first one as you can see so now we have two points uh, that's the first one and this is the second or that's the original actually that's the first and this one the second now whatever we've done in here we need to repeat for the first point so I'm gonna need to uh, copy the ge geometry dot distance to to get the distance uh, you know from each point of those grids to the point attractor or the second point attractor that we have so I'm gonna place that in here now we need to you know compare those distances which is the whole grid to the second point to this one which is the whole grid to the first one so that has been said that's mean we need to know actually the comparison will be focused on knowing which one is the smaller and based on the smaller one Dynamo will, you know, circle, uh, decide the radiuses of those circles. So I need just a, a math dot minimum that actually compare between two values. So either this matrix or this one or any number between, you know, available. This one will decide and create for us a new matrix that each one of those is just a comparison between you know this number and you know the same sequence or the same uh, the same uh, here uh, location and decide which one is the minimum and then get this value to fed to or feed this value to the math dot range map and now we can see that Dynamo actually able to create for us a two point or double point attractor as you can see and as we move the point you know 
we will notice that they are just you know all the all the radiuses of the circles just go smaller as we go to the point now that's been said now that's the whole theoretical part it's very easy uh, it didn't take more than like a couple of minutes to amend them just you know copy this you know the whole point creator and then I copied the geometry dot distance in here linked it and then that's the only one thing difference which is uh, different it is there's a math dot minimum to compare those and to know which was which one is the smallest and then use that uh, smaller value uh, to create the you know the uh, put that in the math dot remap range and then use it to create the circle with their own gradient uh, radiuses. Now that's the theoretical part. And again, as we've done in uh, the previous uh, videos that we have here, we have uh, shown uh, we have shown the you know uh, the theoretical part, and then after that, I've done. Uh, the practical one in this one so this is the first video about the single point attractor that's the theoretical part and then i created an architectural example here in, in a small city example where the roundabout is existed in the middle and then <clears throat> and then you know you know the, either the towers goes higher toward this point or the other way around so that's the practical one i will use the same scheme in those couple of videos that i'm going to post soon uh, for this month, so uh, the theoretical one just to express for you and just to refresh your memory also if you wanted to understand how that's been happened or video for double point attractor, you go back and study the theoretical part and then go and have a look at the architectural example which is the practical part one and I'll keep posting uh, practical parts one and two and three for each one of those single point and the double point attractor as I you know uh, go and find and search for a couple of architectural examples that can fit for those two uh, two concepts or two techniques. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for the single point. Uh, so for the sorry for the double point attractor, I wish that you find that video useful. Thank you very much for watching it, and have a good day. Bye bye.